So my name's Sue Pretty and today, and this is my friend. Yeah, my name is Te, so I'm from Laos. And today we're going to prepare some traditional Lao dishes, uh, sticky rice mm -hmm. and a eggplant jiao. Yes, which in Lao food. Mm -hmm. yes. In Lao, what is eggplant jiao called? Jiao mak kue. The ingredients for the eggplant jiao are eggplants, um, which we barbecue, and um, shallots, and chilies, uh, garlic, which and then we have uh, coriander and mint, uh, oh. and finish off with lime. But if you can't get lime, you can always use lemon. So we've barbecued on our Lao barbecue outside, and to and you blacken the skin, you cook it until it's black, and also the the shallots, the chilies, and the garlic all b barbecued it gives it a nice smoky flavour. So first of all, we'll prepare the sticky rice. So we need to rinse it first with water until it runs clear and then you soak it for three hours. So we've prepared already the sticky rice, but we'll show you what we do. Just with it like we would do with a normal rice, you rinse it until it runs clean. Take any of the discoloured grains off, anything that floats to the surface. And this is a, so this is a ban, traditional bamboo basket that we use for for steaming. So can you, can you hold it down and I'll just yes. tip it in. Can we wash by the water again? Because if we don't wash good, the smell is not good after the cooking. We have to put water in the jar yep. for boiling. Normally allow, we make sure by the finger Oh. Only to to cross this one. Okay. And then we put like this. Ah. Okay, enough. Okay. Yeah. Good. So we cover by this one. Mm -hmm. So we'll cook it for about 20 minutes and then we'll turn the rice over. We might get dirty to do that because she's good at that. And then we cook it for another 10 minutes. Ready cooking. So we will take out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now the step to cook um, eggplant gel. We have to peel uh, eggplant skin and uh, eggplant skin. We have to peel eggplant skin like this. Take it out. Uh, and then we have to peel the onion also to get the own skin out like this. And garlic also we have to peel out and cut the heart of the head. Yes. And then for chili, no need to peel. We just put this one out. So now we're going to pound the ingredients in the mortar and pestle until it's a nice smooth consistency. It's um, smoothly. <laughs> it's smoothly, so it's difficult to smell. Okay, so now we're going to taste it just to see if the if the combination of flavours is okay, or if we need more salt or more fish sauce, or more chilli, I'm going to taste. Mm. Good. Good. Uh, Maybe a bit more fish sauce. What do you think? Mm, a little more mm. fish sauce. Maybe a little more fish sauce, or half again. Maybe. Because we like the salty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it's enough. Okay. <laughs> so next, we'll add the coriander, the lime. So we'll just put in one cheek. Because we want to get the smell of lime. Mm -hmm. So we can mix by spoon. Like this. Mm. Looks good. Not filled out, huh? So the taste not too much spicy because we made for the kid can eat. So we put the chili like this for who like spicy. They can eat with chili. And for me, it's pretty. We put only one mint. Finish. Yep. So it's done. So we'll just turn it off. 
and now we need to cool it down a bit. The rice will, some part is liquid and not nice. You know why I make it warm? Because too easy to put. Now we be ready to serve. So we roll it into a ball. It sticks together well because it's yeah, got it. And then we taste. Yummy. Mmm. 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 Let me taste. Okay. Mmm. Good. Yummy. <laughs> this is loud. That's so.